Well, I need to apologize. I did not intend for this to happen, but it did. Please forgive me. Bobby, come here. Bobby, come here. You survived. We had a crazy storm hit the homestead yesterday afternoon while we were at the expo finishing up the Oki Homestead Expo which went amazing if you guys were wondering um, but check this out first before we get talking about that um, I gotta apologize to you guys a little bit about something I didn't do a very good job on but we'll talk about that in a minute but check this out look how much rain we got yesterday afternoon this is nuts okay so this is a gorilla cart and I was telling Kevin I think I got close to three inches of rain we got four and a quarter in this gorilla cart right here I got another spot another bucket over here I, that's why I told Kevin, I said, man, I know I got over three inches of rain. It was flooded. Um, and I, I have to assess the situation here on the homestead. And I'm going to drive out to the creek property and see if we got any flooding going on over there. It was just like a pop-up shower that just never stopped raining forever, it seems like. Um, but we did get extremely lucky because it missed the expo like by a half a mile. It was crazy. Um, so we dodged one over there. But not here at the homestead so then here's this pan it's saying five inches so what's the accurate um, measurement so i don't have a rain gauge my rain gauge is my driveway of how bad it's flooded at times so when i come home i could pretty much tell hey i got about two inches of rain i got three inches of rain like it's that obvious um, but right now we're going to assess the situation check on the animals and then i'm going to give you guys an update on how everything went with the expo and all that you can see the water how wet it is right here i'm gonna slip it's still draining into the pig pen you already got fed the pond is full what what that's so funny what it's still going in there what's up eddie what's up chief you guys want to go out come on let's go out come on i'll let you out come on No, Pearl. Man, it is flooded. About to fall. It's like a river going through here. There you go. Enjoy. Look at this. We do have some bad news too. Brandy, found, Brand, I think Brandy's mom or the girls found a dead chicken um, in the trailer over here and I did not see it. So let's go see about it. Where's it at? I hear flies. Hey, maybe they did something with it. So I don't know, I didn't see it. Hopefully it's, I think they said the trailer. Hopefully it's not in here. There's a lot of flies in here, I know that. Well, you're back on there and you're back on there. I smell y'all stink. When are you gonna hatch them out? Any of them hatch yet? You know, sitting on four. Man. Ugh. After a bad rain like we got last night, uh, flies come out. We still got two broody hens. Brandy told me that she didn't think they were broody anymore. I said, I bet they just got off for a little bit. They'll get back on and they're, they're back on now. They told me there was a dead hen over here. And I don't know which one it was. I hope it wasn't one of the barred rocks. There's one of them there. And I don't know, they didn't go into detail if it died, not there's the other barred rock, if it died of natural causes or something got it. But I don't see any blood or anything like that. So it may just have been one of the older ones. I don't know. It's a bad deal. So I guess someone took care of it or the bobcat got in there and got it. But let's make our way down to the bobcat trap and check the pond. Can you see just how much this was flowing through here? Everything's knocked down. Look at this. 
it's completely full. <laughs> there is a ton, a ton of bullfrogs in there. I just seen your tadpoles, big tadpoles too. Wow, like a bunch. See them all? There are some big ones in there. Which is cool. I've been wanting to hunt bullfrogs with the girls. Maybe we'll get a chance this year here at the at this pond. If it would stay this full all the time, it'd be amazing. I need to get my bucket back over here and fix that so it doesn't overflow like it does. But it's looking good. Everything is just getting out of control as far as growing out. There's one of the frogs. As far as the weeds and everything growing the last four or five days, we have been so hooked up with the expo. Done zero work at the property, obviously. I think we're working on about maybe 15, 16 hours of sleep in like four and a half, five days. It has been exhausting, but it has been well worth it. We had so many people come out to the expo this year once again, our second annual one, and so many uh, kids were learning um, how to grow their own food how to process their own chickens and not just kids adults too obviously but what i love seeing is the younger generation and their parents coming to learning these skills that they can have for the rest of their life and it, it's awesome to think that a lot of these people are seeing this for the first time at mine and brandy and kevin and rachel's expo like they're gonna they're gonna remember that hey where'd you learn to process a rabbit Where'd you learn to raise pigs? Where'd you learn to butcher a chicken? Well, when I was nine, my mom and dad took me to this place in Oklahoma, and that's where we learned. How cool is that to know that we're affecting the next generation in a positive way in our community, but not just our community, probably some of your communities too, because we had people from all over the country um, come. Once again, it was awesome. Tons and tons of people. Just a great time. Oh man, but I will tell you this, I'm glad it's over. <laughs> so we can get back to building, we can get back to working on the properties and uh, managing things. And most importantly, I have to catch this predator, this bobcat. Tons of people at the expo are asking me if I caught it yet. No, I have not. We're about to, we're about to declare war on the bobcat and the coyotes out here because here in the next few days i'm going to load up on some new traps and we are going to be setting them all over the property trying to catch this thing um, so it will quit terrorizing our animals um, like i said there is a chicken that passed away that died i don't know if it got eaten if it just died of natural causes something got it i don't know i didn't see it or no it actually came over here to get it because i thought it was still in there but no it's gone so i'll have to find out exactly what happened there but the homestead here has been neglected for like the last week. So I'll be doing a lot of catch up over the next week or two. But you're going to see us at the new property quite a bit. Getting ready for the church camp. Men's father, son church camp that um, we're hosting. Um, but right now, everything's looking pretty good here. Let's drive on out to the new property and assess the damage over there if there is any. Like I said, we've got a big storm. Maybe the creek's up, flooded. I don't know. Let's go check it out. Well... We got a spider problem on the rancher. Oh boy, get these webs out of here. Man, nasty. Okay, you guys could tell we are here at the abandoned homestead. The creek's down there. We're gonna go check it out. And like I said, we got a ton of rain at our house yesterday, and it looks to me they got some rain here. We got some rain here, but not as much as we got at the house, and we're not very far away from there. But I can hear the creek roaring. So we're going to check some trails. And then, guys, I'll tell you right now, I am, I won't apologize. <sighs> I might let some of y'all down. I did not do a very good job whatsoever at recording um, the expo this last week, this weekend, Sunday right now. The expo is over yesterday. You guys are going to see this on Sunday, hopefully. But I did not film hardly anything. I took some pictures. I'm hoping Brandy filmed because I think Brandy's going to put um, a video together for her channel, Count It All Joy, 
and hopefully we can get that up in the next day or two after this video you guys see so you guys will be able to see at least some footage i got a little bit but i mean i didn't do a good job whatsoever you know we kevin and myself and rachel and brandy we didn't even get to take a picture together this year we were so busy and um, we're gonna do a better job next year because that should be priority we need to get these pictures and videos not just for you guys but for us for our own personal um for our own personal use um we want to have memories saved too but hopefully there's a lot of other people who filmed and you guys will get to see what happened what went on there it was awesome uh, such a great time we're looking forward to doing it again next year um we're going to be having a meeting here pretty soon and we're going to be talking about um dates and um all that stuff so we'll let you guys know it's pretty, we're going to probably announce it pretty soon um to save the date so we don't really know what we what was that that was a bird inside that. We'll, we'll just go into further detail later. Once again, I apologize. I did a horrible job for filming and vlogging for you guys at the expo. Uh, but what I do have pictures wise and a little bit of video, it will be over on Brandy's channel in the next couple of days. Um, so yeah, so you guys, if you didn't know, we were putting on a camp here at the end of the month and I'm gonna be spending a lot of time out here getting this cleaned up ready for all the kids that are coming up here um to enjoy so let's go down let's make our way down to the creek check on things because i think that's where we're gonna have base camp at we'll see base camp might be up here take, check it out it may be up here but as you can see it's grown up just like everything else uh, and i got a lot of work ahead of me lots and lots of work lots of time but it will be worth it let's make our way down the road Okay, we are down here. At, hopefully, it's going to be the kids' swimming hole. Yeah, it's plenty deep enough still. And I don't think we got hardly any rain up here. Um, the creek is a little lower than normal. Something just flew in my eye. But we still got plenty of spots for them, for the kids to swim and have a good time. Still crystal clear as ever. Yeah. I want to bring my mower down here because that goes straight to the parking area. Um, so instead of having to go through the creek and stuff, um, if we want to drive right down here, we could. And this is a really good location to hang out to. Plenty of shade and it's gonna be nice and cool down here. And this is the really good swimming hole that we have. There's actually two right down here, but this is a pretty good spot. And then down there is a deeper spot. And I don't think it's deep enough right here. I don't think I could drive across it. Look at that. But it's actually down some. It is down. But still looks awesome. What is that? Something over there. What is that? Oh, it's like a green lid. A green bucket lid or something. I want to get that out. And my girls will come back. Mm -hmm. I think it's time. I think it's crawdad season time now. The weather has changed. It has been hot for a while. Upper 80s. I think if we set some more traps, we catch some big ones. Okay, let's go check another spot. This is the spot I wanted to check because I think we'll spend a lot of time down here in this particular area with everybody. But let's go up, let's go up back, back upstream and check out another spot. Well, we can't come down here without checking the food plot at least. Let's just see if there's any hog activity out here.
This looks like a green rug. Is that not insane? Holy smokes. So I'm trying not to get out. This is probably about the extent I'm gonna get out because I got sea ticks all over me last time, but yeah, the throw and grow works. This is crazy. It just keeps getting thicker and thicker. When will the deer and pigs start eating it? That's one thing. Does throw and grow work as far as does it grow? Yes, but is it bringing in the deer? We got so much other things they could be eating right now. They're not eating this. So maybe if this lasts through the summer and goes into fall, maybe they'll start eating this. I don't know. Um, I, I probably need to put a camera up here. Maybe put it. Oh, maybe put my deer feeder right in the middle of this. Put a camera up and see what kind of activity we get. That'd be. I think that's a, that's a good idea. Maybe we'll do that this week too, as we're doing everything else. Pretty cool. So there's the other pretty good little swimming hole. It's got a little coverage in it, got some debris. Get the kids down here to clean that up. This used to be a really good swimming hole until it flooded. Let's see if we can drive, drive over there um, onto the other bank over there and see what it looks like. That's a little deeper than I thought. It got up in there. I thought I almost messed up for a minute because it started getting really loose on me and it was deeper than I thought. But before we had a good, the good flash flood we got, this was like a really deep spot. And what is this? Mm-hmm. We got something leaving us mark. Looks like raccoon, but yeah, this is going to be prime location to be looking for arrowheads. That's I had a couple of people from church that they're into looking for arrowheads and I showed them the ones that we found down here and uh, they're super interested in finding some. They said, do we get to keep them if we find them? I said, well, I at least want to see a picture of them first. So we'll see. They may just be giving them to me. Let them take a picture of them, then I keep the actual arrowhead. I think that would probably be pretty fair. But here's the other rock ledge. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this before. So two creeks come in and join right here. And that's that's not that's probably about waist deep right there. So the two creeks come from both directions, come right in here to our property. And this is what we got. I see looks like crawdad bones in there. So I wonder if that's an otter poop, because there's a bunch of it, or if it's straight up raccoon. But you can see it's lined up all over right here. Looks like a raccoon to me. But the coons, I guess, may be getting in here and catching crawdads at night, having a feast. So my goal for this week is to get my bobcat loaded up and get it down here and start mowing and start cleaning up. Um, this week is gonna be a lot of work down here. I'm hoping it make, we make that happen because we gotta get, I'm actually gonna be throwing some of them granulates down for the ticks um, where we're gonna be camping at. Uh, for the most part, when you're on the gravel and stuff, the ticks aren't hanging out down here. So if we can get a good trail established, get a good campsite established, get base camp established, and get everything treated, I think we'll be good on the ticks. Um, obviously, we're still gonna have to use some sort of spray off or whatever people bring um, to spray down with. And uh, it's gonna be a fun time. I don't know how much, um, I'll probably take a lot of pictures and because uh, I want to make this, I want I want to keep doing this, this kind of like a test run to see how it goes for future camps down here. And um, so we're really excited and uh, yeah, I'm going to look over a few things here. Ooh, there is a bunch of fish in there, a bunch. 
I do not know if you can see it, but there's literally hundreds of fish right there. I think I got them all stirred up whenever I ran through, ran through the water right there. Look at that. They're everywhere. What's cool is I got, I bought a new throw net for the girls. It's like, like, like kid friendly. Um, I thought about letting the, the, at the camp, letting the kids learn how to throw a throw net, a cast net. Um, for getting bait and other things else because that is that would be a survival skill to know if you had a net You could cast it out and catch fish um, in a survival situation a Bait fish is dinner for sure So let's make our way back up to maybe base camp, but the bus the bus site So I think you guys are updated with me and what we got going on over the next probably three weeks up until this camp Lots of work out here. Um, hey, if you guys made it out to the Oki homesteading um, either day or all days or all four days. Thank you guys so much um, It makes everything worth it all the hard work that we all put into it. And it's not just um, us and Rachel and Kevin Brandy It's literally we had over 70 volunteers and we could not do it without each and every one of you guys um, If you're watching this, you know who you are um, I hate naming names because if you miss some if you miss someone's name that had a big part helping you then it makes them feel bad so i won't even start naming names in, in, right now anyways um, but you guys know if you helped us you know how much we appreciate you guys um all our speakers all that um we can't do it without you guys so it's a it's a legit community effort to bring this event to the community um if we don't have you guys backing us this never happens it all started with an idea and then it turned into a reality last year and turned into it again this year and hopefully again next year and the year after that because we're building a community of like-minded people um, who want to be more self-reliant, who want to learn how to grow their own food, um, and they learn how to process these animals that they maybe harvest on their farm or harvest out in the woods. I don't know if I told you guys this or not, but we had um, hog processing going on during the expo itself, not just during private classes, but during the expo itself. And there was a lot of you all that stayed in there and learned how to um, cut it, skin it, cut it all up, um, and they even cooked it on site. Um, it's kind of like a catch, clean, cook all in one day, but with a pig. But it was just an overall an awesome experience. And just seeing the smiles and all the kids' faces and our kids' faces um, and your kids' faces running around having a good time and, and just enjoying themselves and all you guys enjoying your family time together. It means a lot that you spent your family time with us. Um, we appreciate each and every one of you guys. We love you guys. You know, we couldn't do any of this stuff without you guys, and you guys know how much um, that means to us. So, soon, hopefully the next video this week, I'm going to get back on schedule of posting um, videos for you guys, for vlog vlogs for y'all, and um, you guys can see what we got going on. Love you guys. We'll catch you on next field. Thanks for watching.